said. What? <laughs> what the? What, what is going on? Uh... Such excitement, but what was it all about? Well, stick around and I'll give you the lowdown. Let's go. Maybe elevate. Live in life every day. Late at night, not okay. All I want. Come on in, my dear friend. Take a seat around the Talk Talk table. A little quick video today. Another update. But before we get into it, I will say, as I always do, I'm not a financial advisor. This is absolutely not financial advice. So please do your own research. So I was clearly excited there, as was Oliver T. But what were we screaming about? Well, just to backtrack a little bit. This time yesterday, so not 24 hours ago, I made my video about one and the price was at 0 0.25 cent. That excitement in that live stream with Oliver was recognizing that one was literally about to hit one dollar. One dollar, it actually hit 99 point something cent. We were very excited. <laughs> The growth yesterday was unbelievable. Now, there has been a retracement, and actually, it was really interesting because the wonderful Confirmant RN was in Discord yesterday and he had this to say. So he said, There is a heavy resistance at $1. I would like to see a gradual pullback holding around the 30 to 50 cent region for a healthy continuation to occur. Overextension and fallback and hold. Those are great to see. Yes, I know, I know it must moon, but it does need a good pullback and consolidation before another leck up, in my opinion. So he did write that after we'd had that live stream. And lo and behold, during the night when I was asleep, we had quite a significant dip to around 40 cent and I missed it. Oh! Annoying, <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, what Confirmant said is actually absolutely playing out because we have now risen back to that kind of between well, at the minute we're dancing around the 70 to 75 mark. And as I'm making this video, it is at 75 cent. And by the way, sh big shout out to Confirmer. Do go to his YouTube channel, I'll link down below. And his wonderful Anything Crypto News website, which again is linked down below. He's fantastic at what he does. So make sure please that you support him. So my dear friend, did you take my advice yesterday? Not that this is financial advice, but Yesterday when I made the video, one was at about 25 cents. Now, had you have invested $500 at that point, your one now, not at the $1 peak that we had, but at 75 cents, would be worth approximately $1,485. And that includes the tax that you would have to pay. Not bad. Now, my dear friend, if you took my advice in my first video, which was only two days ago, and you'd have bought at 0 0.075 cent. If you'd have bought then, that $500 would now be worth about $4,900. Now, I don't want to blow my own trumpet here, but I did say this project was worth looking at. However, if you are not yet in, this honestly, I feel, has got so much room more to grow. I say we hit about the dollar last night. I think actually at one point last night, we did go straight over the dollar, but there was so much volatility last night. Um, it is not too late. We are at 75 cents. We are growing in holder numbers. And let me just check where we are at at the moment. I think we're at about 280, uh, actually 283. So this is actually growing by the minute. The word is getting out about one. But according to Oliver T on the live that I did with him yesterday, this, well, first of all, none of this is a surprise to him. He kind of presumed this was going to happen, you know. He knew he designed, you know, the project, the tokenomics. So this is not a surprise to him, but this is what he had to say last night. I mean, I 
not financial advice, but I see it going to like a hundred bucks a token. Like just, you know, just throwing that out there. I see it doing that. Like I see it getting to a dollar very soon and then FOMO is going to really start kicking in. And then, oh you know, and, and also the thing that, um, that I've seen mentioned a few times is there's only like, uh, like the, the supply of tokens that are available for purchase is getting to be, uh, smaller and smaller. And as that happens, the price can just skyrocket. And that last point that he made about the limited number of tokens left to buy is so interesting. I believe there's something like 24 to 25,000 tokens left. And I think they're going to be snapped up in the next few days. And what happens then? Well, of course, we can still trade. Of course we can. But it's then dependent on people selling. And what happens is the automatic market maker inflates the price to encourage sales. So it is one of the mechanisms by which this is going to skyrocket. So if you want to catch up on that live AMA that I did with Oliver T yesterday, then the link is down below. He was telling us all about the project where he got his ideas from and dropping some lovely gems. And actually one of the gems that he did drop um, was to kind of quell some concerns that people might have about the very low liquidity that is in the project at the moment. It's a fledgling project, it's starting out, the liquidity is low. But he made very reassuring noises about the top wallets and certainly the top three wallets, and I think we now know the top four wallets, are held by trusted community members who have only the projects kind of good at the center of what they're doing. So they're not intended for a smash and grab. Uh, they potentially will sell along the way, but it will be done in a reassuringly friendly, safe manner so as not to jeopardize the project. Also, just to quickly mention, if you are already a Die Hard One supporter, fan, then you can get some merch. <laughs> now, this has all been done really quickly. And as such, it's actually been housed on the, on the merch shop of Calls for the Cards. So Keith the Crypto Farmer has helped out immensely here by saying that the one merchandise could be housed on his shop. So I will put a link down below. I've got a hat coming. That's all I'm saying. You know I love to rock a bucket hat. So hopefully that will be with us in the next few days. <laughs> but do go have a look and support this great project. All right, my lovelies, that's all I'm gonna say today. Just a quick brief video. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. And so I definitely will not be doing a video tomorrow, no matter what happens with one or anything else, because I have a family day planned. So I do want to wish you all the very best for a wonderful, happy, peaceful Easter. Enjoy yourself, take a rest, but come back and don't miss on any of this excitement. But for now, I will say there can be only one. Cheers. Live a life every day, let it die, not okay, all I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days.